Shalom guys, what's up? So again, we're back with Yeshua, Jesus. So uh, we're doing videos, reading, listening to Jesus, because it's something that we really don't do. And so let's see, let's read his words and see what he has to say and see what he came to do. So let's get started. So Mark chapter one begins like this. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, or Yeshua, the Messiah, the son of God. Now, the son of God title, and it's something that we're not gonna get into today, but it's something that I want you to keep in mind. And for the youth and for the parents, you should research this. So the title son of God is not something just given to Jesus because the Roman emperors believed not only that they were God, but they also gave themselves titles as the sons of God. So something very interesting and in that the youth and the parents Sure research. Let's get back to the reading. So, as it is reading in Isaiah, the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism, an immersion of repentance for the forgiveness of sin. For the country of Judea was going out to him and all the people of Jerusalem, and all the country of Judea who were being baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist, and his diet was locusts and wild honey. And he was preaching and saying, After me, one is coming who is mightier than I. I am not fit to stoop down and unite the thumb of his hand sandals. I baptize you with water but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee. He was baptized by John in the Jordan. Immediately coming out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came out of the heavens. You are my beloved son. In you, I am well pleased. Immediately, the Spirit impelled him to go out into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness 40 days, being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts and the angels were ministering to him now after john had been taken into custody jesus came into galilee preaching the gospel of god the good news so another fun fact is that this good news was also preached by emperors usually when they were enthroned or kings when they were enthroned as soon as they were enthroned they would preach good news of their reign and they were entitled or they were supposed to be good to the people so the people can support them etc etc so son of god and good news is not something that is attributed to jesus is also attributed to roman emperor so something that you should study look into let's keep going and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god is at hand repent and believe in the good news as he was going along the sea of galilee he saw simon andrew the brother of simon casting in a net in the sea for they were fishermen, and Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishermen of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Going a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, John, his brother, who were also in the boat, mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and went away to follow him. They went to Capernaum, and immediately on Shabbat, he entered the synagogue and began to teach. They were amazed at his teaching, for he was teaching them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Just then there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, What business do we have with each other, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet. And come out of him, throwing him into a convulsion. The unclean spirit cried out with a loud voice and came out of him. They were all amazed, so that they debated among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits. They obey him. Immediately the news about him spread everywhere into the sur surrounding districts of Galilee. And immediately after they came out of the synagogue, they came into a house of Simon and Andrew with James, John, and now Simon's mother-in-law was lying sick with fever. And immediately they spoke to Jesus about her. He came to her, raised her up, taking her by the hand, and the fever left her. 
she waited on them. When evening came after the sunset, they began bringing to him all who were and those who were demon possessed. And the whole city gathered at the door. And he had healed many who were ill with various diseases and casted out many demons. He was not permitting the demons to speak because they knew who he was. In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. Simon and his companions searched for him. They found him and he said to him, Everyone is looking for you, he said to them. Let us go out somewhere to the town nearby so that I may preach there also, for that is what I came for. He went into the synagogue throughout all Galilee, preaching and casting out demons. So I'm going to stop there for now. So that I'm going to give you questions because I have questions. You know, Jesus has another fun fact. Jesus himself never stopped at a Gentile community. As we see, Jesus went into synagogues and talked. Now, something that you should go and research, and I'm giving you a lot of stuff so you can research because I don't want you to take it from me. Look it up yourself. What does it take, especially in the first century, for a leader to go into a synagogue and teach? What do they teach? What is the protocol? Something that we need to pay attention to. In fact, we have already established that Mark says, Jesus, son of God, royal messenger. Jesus also has power over demonic beings. And Jesus comes to teach and preach the good news of the gospel. So we will keep learning and listening to what Jesus has to say about the good news. Shalom, guys. Thank <laughs> you.